Lincoln the lawyer. A rustic on his first visit to the circus is how John W. Bradley, an English immigrant, and a rustic on his first visit to the circus is how John W. Badale, an English immigrant farmer, described Abraham Lincoln on his first visit to the McLean County Courthouse as a young attorney in the summer of 1837. Lincoln was wearing ill-fitting homespun clothes with trousers a little too short and the coat of a coat of trifle too large. Adele summarily dismissed the county bumpkin lawyer who had been sent by his senior partner John Todd Stewart to represent the Englishman. Despite this initial reaction, Lincoln later represented Badale in numerous matters. Lincoln appeared often at the courthouse as an attorney as, and as a b political speaker. Undoubtedly, his best known appearance in the courthouse was at the victorious was as the victorious attorney in the Illinois Central Railroad versus McLean County case, 1853. In a landmark decision, the Illinois Supreme Court on appeal ruled the Illinois General Assembly had the constitutional right to exempt the railroad's property from taxation. Called by his partner, William H. Herndon, the most important case, the two attorneys divided the $5,000 fee equally between them. style structure was erected in 1836, serving until it was replaced by the third courthouse in 1868. Often referred to, uh, referred to as a as coffee mill courthouses, the archi this architectural style was common in the Midwest. The McLean County Courthouse, designed and built by Linder Munsell, was located on the southwest corner of this block. Lincoln often appeared here as an attorney and as an orator giving speeches on the lawn between 1837 and 1860, the year he was elected 16th President of the United States. On Sunday, April 16, 1865, following numerous funeral sermons in the city's churches, one of the largest crowds gathered in the courthouse lawn to mourn the death of President Lincoln. Journalist Ayat Ida Tarbell observed elsewhere it was only a president, a national leader who had been lost. Here it was a personal friend and people refused to be comforted. People gathered in the yard about the courthouse where for years they had been accustomed to see Lincoln's coming and going. Two le weeks later, crowds gathered along the Chicago and Alton Railroad line to pay homage to the dead president as the Lincoln funeral passed through Bloomington on its way to Springfield and Lincoln's final resting place.